everyone! Today I wanted to talk about something that is more simplistic. It's something that you learn early on in like primary school or like elementary school and that is learning the basic structure of a sentence. And so something that I go into a lot when I'm talking to my own students, push that a little bit further, but I want to start with the basics first. So most people learn in modern English that you can always break down a sentence into the subject and the predicate. The subject is always going to be a noun or a pronoun that is going to be the base part of the sentence and what is being discussed in the sentence. And typically uh, we follow a structure where the subject tends to come first, but that's not always the case. And then you have the predicate. This is more of like your verb phrase or the verb base part of the sentence. So if I had a sentence like, I love manatees, which I do, knowing what is being discussed is I. I am the subject. What am I doing? <laughs> I love manatees. Love manatees would be your predicate, but what is the subject would be I. That's not always the case though, but in modern English, we tend to follow the pattern of subject, verb, object. So that's not always the case. Sometimes we like to switch things up. So in like old English, which was like the wild west of English, like it, there were a whole lot of rules or patterns established yet, but the typical pattern that we follow nowadays is typically your subject, verb, and then your object. So if I do another example like, Amanda studies medicine, that is following your standard subject verb object. So we have Amanda as our subject, studies as the verb, studies what is your object. And keep in mind, sometimes people talk about like a direct object or an indirect object. Um, just for clarity, when I say object for subject verb object, that is going to be a direct object. And I'll make another video about that too, because direct object and indirect object can sometimes confuse people, which is totally normal. Like I don't blame people who get confused by that. So instead, if I wanted to rephrase Amanda studies medicine, and maybe I want to say medicine is studied by Amanda, typically people would look at the very first word in the sentence and be like, oh, medicine is the subject. And it's like, uh, no, it's not. It has to be able to perform that verb, which the medicine can't study Amanda. Amanda is studying the medicine. So Amanda would still be your subject. Studies is still your verb, but the medicine is still serving as that object or direct object. Um, but yeah, that's your subject and predicate and taking it a step further with your subject, verb, and object. Don't be afraid to learn. Bye guys.